<laughs> uh, now, one place Susan visited on her travels was Newcastle, as we spoke about, and BBC reporter Sharina Saga uh, was there on Saturday to find out about an iconic song that means so much to the people of the North East. Yes, now the man behind it is a guitar legend who's recently teamed up with some other big names in music, including Sting and Sam Fender, to record a brand new version, and there's a very special reason why. That ain't working, that's the way you do it. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Mark Knopfler has sold more than 120 million albums, both with Dire Straits and as a solo artist. Mark's a keen supporter of charities across the UK. Only last month, he raised more than eight and a half million pounds for good causes by auctioning off more than 100 of his most famous guitars. Today, Mark is in his home city of Newcastle to see how the money he raises for Teenage Cancer Trust is supporting young people with cancer. How do you do? I am worried. Are you in here? Not as an inpatient, I am as an outpatient. The charity has transformed the lives of thousands of teenagers across the UK through the specialist care they give on their hospital wards. What is it about this particular charity that speaks to you? Well, it has from the beginning, which I think 30 years ago or so, Dire Straits paid for the first teenage cancer ward. What sort of stuff are you playing on that thing? Well, I've played some Dire Straits. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> being back in Newcastle and to meet everybody on the ward, not just the staff, but the patients as well. It's just the most fantastic thing in the world. I was originally diagnosed with a brain tumour in 2019. Unfortunately, last year it spread to my spine. So I currently just had radiotherapy. It's just immense how much they're able to help through such a bad period of your life. You're still getting Thank treatment you. in here. Yeah. I'm having chemotherapy now. I was told I'd never walk again or like move my legs again, so it's it's been a pretty long journey. It feels good proving I'm wrong Absolutely though. Absolutely it? it does. To have the support from the key workers, it was just a pick me up and it was a distraction from everything that was going on and they were a fantastic support. To further fundraise for the Teenage Cancer Trust, Mark is releasing a very special version of his much-loved song, Going Home, featuring over 60 of the greatest rock legends. We got the most incredible response. The first person through the door was Pete Townsend. Then there would be stuff coming in from Bruce Springsteen, from Sam Fender, from Eric Clapton. And then there was Joan Armour Trading playing Tasty Licks on it. Sting came in and did brilliant bass. Is this your little black book of the world's best guitarist? No, it's not like that at all. This thing is bigger. It's much bigger than us. There's one place where the original version of the song is bigger than anywhere else. Newcastle. Adopted as the anthem for the Great North Run and played at every Newcastle United home game. The song just gives me whole body chills. When you walk into the stadium and you hear that song, you just feel magic. It just reminds you of Newcastle. It's something that reminds you of home. So, Steve, as the longest-serving player in the club, you must have heard this song many times. When that music starts, as a player, it's a call for duty. And we did have one manager who wanted to change it, but fortunately no. met, met a lot of <laughs> resistance. So what do Newcastle fans make of the new version of the song? Amazing. Really? Really good. It nearly made me cry. <laughs> what we had before, although it was good, it was a little bit like sombre, that's more uplifting. Well, there might be the younger generation, but the original one's the one for me all the time. And I actually prefer the new version, because I think it's more like rocky. Mark is calling in at the stadium to hear the new track played to over 50,000 fans. It's a fantastic buzz to be at St James's when it's played at the match. That music has had so many roles and so many people's stories. It's fantastic to be part of people's lives like that. Oh, honestly, you know, even hearing it now, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to, that's how I used to feel. Tears in your eyes, you know, I'm just, I'm just ready to go. Those were the good old days. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I do miss it a little bit. I'm not going to well, lie. you can hear the full track for yourself when it's released next Friday. Time now, though, to welcome our next guest, who are the stars of Guy Ritchie's brand new TV series, The Gentleman.